Time's running out. Time's up. Let's go. Miss Jenkins said that the Ghana people lived around here about 50,000 years ago. That's a long time, isn't it? Mm, it certainly is. That's even older than I am. Silly. You're not <laughs> that old. I wonder whether the world will be the same as it is now when I'm your age. No, I don't think so. Why? Well, we haven't been doing a very good job of looking after it, that's all. Is it ruined? I'm not sure. How long have we been here? Oh, about 10 maybe. I mean in Australia. Uh, about 220 odd years. So the Aboriginal people lived here for 50,000 years and everything was all right. Mm. But we live here for 200 years and things might be ruined. Well, things aren't ruined yet, love. They're just a bit precarious. Why? Because we keep doing what we want. Things that are the easiest or fastest or cheapest. We haven't given enough thought to how what we do now is going to affect the future. So does that mean kind of like you adults make a mess today, and us kids have to clean it up tomorrow? I suppose so. Well, don't worry, Grandad. We can fix it. But the first thing we should do is stop making a mess in the first place. Hey, look. Grandad, this could have been someone's home. Miss Jenkins said that the Aboriginal people sometimes lived in tree trunks and made shelters from the stuff found all around them. They could change its size to fit as many people as they needed to. I'd make mine big enough for you to live with me. Mmm, the sun has made this side nice and warm. And on this side, it's colder. Come on, Granddad. I bet the Ghana used the water that came to them naturally. And I bet they never wasted a drop of it. <laughs> They all work together to get the food that they ate. Mm. Whoa. Well, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> all right. So what do you think, kiddo? You want to live in a tree? <laughs> no. I don't think it's possible to live like them anymore. Maybe we can learn from them. Hey, Grandad, check out the size of the footprint you left behind. Well, don't worry. I can get rid of that. See?
Time to go, kiddo. Back to the old drawing board. To create something new.